In this video, I will talk about the components of whole blood. When whole blood is rapidly spun by using a centrifuge, the blood will separate based on its different physical properties. Three main areas include blood plasma, the buffy coat made up of platelets and white blood cells, and red blood cells. Blood plasma makes up the largest volume of whole blood. Approximately 55% of whole blood is plasma. Of that plasma, 90% is water. Water is known as a universal solvent, which rapidly dissolves many materials. So found inside plasma will be salts, nutrients, sugars, proteins, hormones, small amounts of dissolved gases, many things will be found inside plasma. A variety of different plasma proteins will help carry other materials throughout the blood. The formed elements of whole blood include the cellular components. Erythrocytes are red cells, leukocytes are white cells, and platelets are fragments of cells that will aid in blood clotting. Ironically, erythrocytes are not true cells because they have no nuclei. And that's why these cells will only live for about 180 days and they are constantly reproduced inside the bone marrow. Of the formed elements, red blood cells are the most numerous. Women average about 5 million of these cells in a cubic milliliter of blood. That is a box, one millimeter length, width, and height. Men average about five and a half million, and depending upon your activity level, or sometimes the altitude at which you live at, you can have, to have up to eight million of these cells in a cubic millimeter. The main function of erythrocytes, or red blood cells, is to act as bags of hemoglobin. There are many molecules of the protein hemoglobin whose main job is to bind to oxygen and increase the oxygen carrying capacity for humans. The amount of red blood cells compared to whole blood is called the hematocrit. This is a blood fraction. The higher the hematocrit fraction, the higher the amount of red blood cells compared to the whole blood sample. The main job of hemoglobin is to pick up oxygen. However, hemoglobin also likes to bind to carbon monoxide, which is an odorless, colorless gas that acts as a toxin. As I said before, red blood cells are essentially bags of the protein hemoglobin. Over 97% of a red blood cell is hemoglobin. This is an iron-containing protein, and it's the iron groups, or the heme groups, that bind to oxygen. Iron is what gives our blood its red color. Red blood cells also have a distinct bioconcave shape, which increases their surface area and allows them to more rapidly exchange gases. Red blood cells make up approximately 45% of whole blood. Approximately 1% of whole blood is called the buffy coat, which includes white blood cells and platelets. White blood cells' predominant role is to fight off foreign material. We will discuss a variety of white blood cells in another video. The primary job of platelets is to aid in blood clotting from internal injury or external bleeding.